What's up, YouTube? In this video, I take really, really, really long curtains and shorten them to look like this. Of course, I did all of this without the use of a sewing machine, just a few sewing supplies purchased at the dollar store. <laughs> Now, before we get started, I'd like to ask for you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the bell so you can be the first to know about all my brand new videos. Let's begin. So here's what I used. Long curtains, scissors, a pencil. Definitely do not use a permanent marker like is shown in this picture. Sewing pins, sewing needles, a tape measure, and a large flat surface. So the first thing I did was measure my window to find out exactly how long I needed to shorten these curtains. Very important to add at least six inches to that measurement to account for the seam allowance. I think that's what the term is. Next, I laid out the curtains flat with the inside facing down. It helps to have some sort of weight to hold it in place while you work. You can see here I'm using my rustic curtain rod holders that I just made. It was super easy and basically cost me nothing to make. You can check out that video by the link above. Next, I folded up the bottoms like so, until the fold matched the measurements I took for the window. folded up the rest of the curtain hanging off the table took my pins and pinned the fabric in place so it didn't shift at any time during this process. And make sure you measure twice, cut once. When in doubt, you can always cut more off, but too short will always be too short. That's what a girl on Tinder said to me at least. As you can probably tell, cutting through these curtains would have been a whole lot easier if I actually had fabric scissors, or at least scissors that don't suck. But not to worry because my horrible cut job won't be visible anyways. At this point, I started measuring from the top and marking the exact precise measurements I needed to make my fold. You can see here I'm using a permanent marker, which I immediately realized was a horrible idea. It bled right through to the front. Do not use a permanent marker. Use something like a pencil or a crayon. Something that's not going to bleed all the way through. I then also realized I didn't even need to make any marks because I had pins. If you happen to have a clothes iron also, this would work great and make the end product look much better. Just fold back the excess, pin it, and then iron it. Then on to the fun part, threading your needle, <laughs> but watch this. That's right baby, first time. Next, I pulled the thread off the spool enough that it's basically twice as much as the distance I had to sew. Then I added like a quarter of that extra and cut the thread. Then I tied those ends together. Now, 
start basically weaving the needle and thread in and out of the fabric, making sure to pull the entire length of the thread through as you go. This is a long and tedious process without a sewing machine, yes, but hey, it'll work. Now just a reminder everyone, I did this with literally zero sewing experience. I had to ask my mom. But if you do have any comments about my methods of madness, definitely comment down below. So when I finally got to the end, I just tied some sort of knot that didn't come undone. I did the exact same with the other curtain and there you go. Now all that was left to do was attach my rod hangers. Attach my rod. Attach the curtains and... Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? What do you think? Please click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time.